Okay, so we're going to look at a graph here today that's going to kind of help you realize how um, energy and temperature um, over time can change a solid to a liquid, a liquid to a gas, or even a gas to a liquid and a liquid to a solid. So when we look at this graph today, you're going to drag the green button across um, the bottom of the graph and on the next page, um, we're going to discuss how temperature and time change. As temperature increases and time increases, we'll explain what happens to this ice cube like we did in our melting ice lab. Explain the phase changes and how heat impacts those molecules. So, here we have our graph and we have temperature going up the y-axis and time going across on the x-axis. So as we increase time and temperature at the same time, I want you to look on the right-hand side and see what's happening to our ice cube. And then watch the graph as it goes up. So as we start, we have solid molecules sitting in the pan at the bottom down here. Okay? And I want you to also take a look at the um, molecular arrangement that's going on. Our solid are in a pattern, very tightly packed. As time goes on, you'll notice that temperature is rising and, and you'll notice that the uh, ice cubes are starting to melt. So right here you'll see this is where melting is occurring as temperature is increasing. Okay, so we went from a solid to a liquid. Now take a look at the molecular arrangement of our liquid molecules. They are a little bit more spaced apart. Not too much, but a little bit more, and they no longer are in a fixed pattern. As we continue over time, what's going to start to happen is that the liquid is going to start moving extremely fast and spread far apart and become our gas. Okay, so this is going to be your vaporization or boiling or evaporation. In the picture we saw boiling occurring. Okay? 